Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. It's almost summer. Some of you might be thinking about picking this one up. If you want to see what I think, stay tuned to FM. Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal Au Fresh is a flanker to the extremely popular Lamal. It was released in 2016 as the Popeye edition, then in 2017 we had Superman, and then in 2018 we had the weird Sailor Dude. They're all the same juice inside, just different presentations. Let's take a look at the notes. In the top, we have Neroli, Mint and Aldehydes. In the mid, Sage, Woody Notes and Ambroxan. In the base, Vanilla, Tonka Bean and Sandalwood. The original Lamal was a bit of a signature scent for me. I wore it for a good number of years. I love it. It's sweet, it's good fun, it's lively, it's a great night out scent. It's distinctive, it's got some depth, it has pretty decent performance as well. So, what about this one? This was released as a summer flanker. I wouldn't describe this one as a freshie though. It's fresher than the original. What we do have in this one in terms of fresher notes is mint, neroli and aldehydes. The mint of course being present in the original Lamal which helps provide it with its distinctive character and that distinctive DNA is carried over somewhat into this scent. You do get a sense of that. The neroli is there a little bit providing a bit of extra floral freshness and the aldehydes give us a nice breezy waxy soapy quality. It's not a blue aquatic, there's no marine saltiness here, there aren't any citruses present but what we do get is a lovely breezy fresh laundry appeal often attributed to the presence of aldehydes in a fragrance and who doesn't love the smell of fresh laundry? Especially not this guy, he's got to wear his tights under his work clothes every single day. If soups ain't smelling fresh, Lois doesn't want a sesh. What we also get from this, due to the presence of tonka bean, vanilla and ambroxin, is a big old dose of sweetness. So that sweetness mixed with those bright and breezy fresh notes just result in what I think is an absolutely gorgeous scent. Mainly in the opening though. There are woods in this, woody notes are listed, sandalwood is listed, but in my opinion they're not really providing a great deal of depth to this fragrance which in turn is affecting the performance. So I get more depth and better performance in the original Lamal than I do in this, but I still find this a really pleasant fragrance to wear. So this is a really nice take on a fresher summery version of Lamal. It does deliver its payload in that first hour and then it's a really pleasant skin scent for about four to five hours after that. So if you were wanting to wear this scent all day, longer than say four or five hours, I would recommend respraying. So whilst the scent of this is absolutely gorgeous, I would describe the performance as moderate to weak. So fine for the time it takes to say rescue Lois Lane from a falling helicopter, but if you were having an epic battle with General Zod, you might need to stop the fight for quick little sprints. Anyone of any age could wear this at any time of the year. In terms of occasions, if you wanted to wear this as a work scent, a date night scent, a formal occasion scent, casual day scent, holiday to the fortress of solitude, you'd be good. That's enough from me, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it useful. If you've tried this scent, please let me know in the comments down below, I'd love to hear from you. Please like, comment, subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell to enable notifications and until next... Excuse me, duty calls.